I'm exhibiting at the power plant a body of work that I call Anxious Audience. And it consists of uh, flat works made with white tile, uh, black soap and wax as the mark making tools. And it begins to deal with the idea of anxiety in a time that I find is, is quite complicated. And it uses these scrawled faces, these quick gestures to be representations of that anxiety. They function in some ways as cathartic tools. They function as ways to communicate. They function as ways to understand gesture, mark making, in my case, different kinds of signifiers and ideas and ways of viewing the world. My own, from a personal position, I had stopped drinking and was dealing with the world using different tools than I ever had. And so that was really the real progenitor, the real genesis was my, like, a change in my life. You know, many of us have become really accustomed to, to circumstances that are deeply problematic, whether it's sexism, racism, um, uh, homophobia, um, xenophobia, and so many of us have become really accustomed and, and in some ways comfortable in navigating those things. But those things become deeply problematic when you realize that your child who has yet to build the tolerance for these really problematic isms is going to be exposed to them and that you are in a position to have to prepare them for that. And when you think about having to do that, it really just ramps up your own anxiety. It ramps up your own sense of having not done what we'd hope to do to prepare for the next generation to, to live in conditions that were different than the ones that, that we lived in. Also included in the exhibition are several plants that are housed in uh, ceramic vessels that are more recently made at, the studio, at my studio. In a sense, if I were to think quite simply, it brings me joy to use them. And, and one of the more interesting reactions that I've gotten um, traditionally when I've used plants is that people come in and one of their first questions is, who's going to take care of these things? They're already assuming that someone needs to be the steward or the caretaker for, for this object. So in a sense, empathy enters the room with the audience. And once empathy enters the room and people have, have brought in this sense of like care and concern, then I think that it like is a, an incredibly um, positive kind of factor. I mean, this space is not a space that traditionally I think artists would, would choose to exhibit their work necessarily. It, it provides a different sense of challenge. So for an artist like me who's had an opportunity to take on more traditional spaces, sometimes these kinds of spaces are the ones that excite me the most. The kinds of spaces that don't necessarily beg for um, classic interventions are for the long gaze. I like the verticality of it as well. And when you get to look up, sometimes it feels like an opportunity, right? Like, and you're like quite fragile when you're, when you're looking up, right? Like your sense of balance isn't necessarily um, what, what it is in, in other experiences. And so the space gives you an opportunity and the way that I'm using it ideally gives you the opportunity to feel a little bit of that imbalance and a little bit um, uh, of a new position in which to, to participate with, with my work.